What threat will York City pose? Is it a good time to play them so early in the season? I think I, I don't necessarily think they'll be a particularly bad time to play York this season, especially when you consider they've dropped down through the leagues and also the fact that it's so Played early in Played down the line into the left corner area for Maguire who peeled off his man. Back to Little and Little's given space to cross and flicked at the near post. Oh, yeah. Perhaps a disciplined performance that maybe last season called for as Hutchinson manages to clear but it's given away and here's Newton coming down the left hand side. He plays it into the area and it's a poor clearance and fired in by Morgan Smith but blocked and away and that's a letter. All of a sudden the ball's played over the Spartans back line looking for Morgan Smith and the keeper comes out well. Jameson to clear and then oh. it's flipped on and then all of a sudden McGuire's in behind the mirror edge of the area, shoots, cracking save. John Warsnob gets down quickly and gets an arm on it and it's cleared away and that was your first big opportunity. Done in the these conditions again tonight, I mean it was one long ball, it's just been missed completely by the York defence. Decent effort though from Maguire, got it on target as Dale looks to play the ball into the area and it drops and there's a chance and a shot and Maguire's saved and another one and it's oh. put past the post, half the crowd thought it was in. What an opportunity, what an opportunity to quality on the ball so no chances for the Spartans turning off at this moment in time. This right hand side and Armand just didn't inside his man and played it into the area to Park and he shot across goal in and into the far corner and just like that. York City have gone from being under no end of pressure to being a goal ahead in the 15th minute. And that that's man's it. Calibre of player at York City and they're showing their class at the moment. They've been clinical so far as Blythe looked to build on the right hand side so with Rivers. He plays it into the area and Hutchinson's got himself in behind and the keepers out oh, so quickly there. Never he already. Maybe it's the heavy conditions because the rain is absolutely teeming down as Parkin flicks it on and all of a sudden Morgan Smith. His first touch is better there. He is in behind the match difference, but it must do. Oh, massively. Yeah. I mean, I was talking to Sean MacDonald when he initially joined in Norton, and he was saying that Gate said he trains two, three hours a day when he was there. And, I mean, that, that's a full-time job almost, some might say. Absolutely. As the ball breaks to the edge of the area, and there's a shot, and it's gone in. It's squirmed in. It's Sean Newton who scored, the captain. And York City lead by two goals to nil. Well, it broke in the area, it park came off parking, squandered. Michael Little there charges into a challenge and wins it back. That's the kind of grit that they're going to need. And he receives the ball back from Dale and now he plays the ball into the area. Chance for Rivers at the back post who takes a touch and plays inside Maguire who squared it by two, gives it back to Rivers who looks to have a shot across goal and it just kind of dribbles, dribbles past the far post. And question to Sam. Sure. Here are Blythe in the area though, and it's a flick on, and Langstaff has it, and he looks to turn his man, he's got Maguire there, and Maguire gets shot away, oh. and oh, it just goes past the far post, took a side, and he's, he's given the ball away very cheaply there to Maguire, and all of a sudden he's played at Robbie Dale, and there's a chance to break, and Dale plays it into Maguire on the edge of the area, Maguire looks to put it back to Dale, who miss kicks it, drops for Rivers in the area, his shot's blocked by Whittle, another one, and Langstaff sends it wide of the post. Fell to him invitingly on the edge of the area and after a couple of three floating around it. And here is Lauren, he's managed to regain possession on the byline and it's crossed in and Parkin nearly got his toe on it at the near post and Maguire was there as well and now a quick counter from York City and here's Armand and he's skipped inside Little but he's checked his progress, he's played to the back post and Parkin gets ahead on it and get the night started. It's not going to happen like that though, as Buddle gives the ball away in the middle of the park and Heslop looked to break, it's a good block but it's come out as far as Newton and he looks to go further forward and he's played in Morgan Lang on the edge of the area and the shot, it's a cracking save low down from Jameson, it's cleared away by Little but Blythe have got to rally a bit. Armand and Morgan Smith are definitely going to be stretching the two fullbacks tonight. Obvious quality about this York City outfit. Played down the line and Morgan Smith's got him behind on this right hand side, he's into the area, right footed, shoots, across goal and inches past the far post. What an opportunity that was Sam. It's almost like he heard us. <laughs> Simply showed that in our direction uh, permanently there for a split second, lightning us to the pitch. He may have been waiting for our announcer to make some... Jeremy's you know. edge of the area towards Lewis Horner, he cut it back and absolutely. Ball's flicked on by Armand and Morgan Smith's got the beaten there of Buddle and he's he's Buddle's slipped and Morgan Smith played it to Armand on the edge of the area. 
Played back into Heslop, who gives him it back. He's now on the edge of the box, and he cuts inside Armand and cuts it again and shoots. And James is down low and saves well. We need to get him more involved. He did take the free kick, and now he's come inside, and all of a sudden he's 30 yards from goal, encouraged to shoot by the fans, plays it in the rivers in the area. Who's cut inside two, it comes to Buddle on the edge of the box, it's shot, it's blocked by Dan Maguire, and it's cleared away, and they start the comeback. It's lofted into the area, it's high, it's looping, and <laughs> John Wars now got absolutely nowhere near that with a punch, diving forwards, and completely missed it. It's come out the rivers on the far side, but he's under pressure, and he's forced to turn, and now he's attacking the edge of the area. Gives it to McTean, and left-footed, tries to dink it into the area, and does so, and does it drop for Langstaff, it doesn't and it's a Nick goal. Hill. York City two. Ball goes high into the air and Newton flicks it on. Finds Morgan Smith who plays a neat one-two with Kane and all of a sudden they're bursting forward and it's played into the area. Comes to the edge of the box for Connor Smith who then finds Kane who drags it across goal. Clean through. Quite possibly but at the moment it's just not quite working. York City come into the area on the right hand side and all of a sudden there's a chance to open up. It's crossed in and Morgan Smith's on the stretch and he can't. Causing all kinds of problems at the moment. Here's Morgan Smith on the left-hand side. With 35 yards from goal, and he's come inside in between two challenges, and now he's in the centre of the park, and he's looking for options, and he's got one on the right-hand side, and Blyther a bit ragged at the moment, and the ball comes into the area, and flashed across, and Kane Felix, okay, who's just... He's just motored down that far side, and that... The goalkeeper is oh, Yes, I'd, I'd much prefer that. As Hobson fizzes it in, and it's flicked goalwards by McTiernan, and it's just wider than the near post.